Hi, I'm Jay from Career Foundry. Today, I'm going to show you how to conduct effective user interviews. As a UX designer, you'll use various research methods to get to know your users and understand their needs in relation to the product you're designing. User interviews are just one of many UX research methods at your disposal. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about user interviews. First, I'll look at possible goals and outcomes. What can you expect to learn from this particular research technique? I'll also consider when might be the best time to conduct user interviews. Next, I'll walk you through a complete step-by-step -step guide to getting your user interview underway. We'll start with the logistics, such as setting research objectives, recruiting participants, and determining the location. Then I'll show you how to write effective interview questions. Last but not least, I'll share some tips and best practices. By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to plan and run effective user interviews. Let's get started. So what exactly is a user interview? A user interview is usually a one-to-one -one session where you'll ask the user questions and record their answers. It's more than just an informal conversation. You'll need to have a clear goal in mind and plan your questions accordingly. Different research methods are used to gather different types of data. A user interview will give you qualitative, self-reported data. The user will be telling you how they perceive a certain concept or how they feel about a particular experience. Basically, you'll be relying on their words rather than observing their actions. Through user interviews, you'll gain an understanding of how your target users talk about the product or service you're designing. What problems and pain points do they mention? What do they want from the experience? What do they currently enjoy and what could be done better? Now let's consider when you might conduct user interviews. User interviews can be really useful at the start of a project when you're developing a new concept or still deciding which direction the design should take. Speaking to your target users one-to-one -one will help with things like defining your user personas or deciding which project features to include. Further along in the process, user interviews can help you to gather people's opinions about an existing product or design. They can also be conducted after usability testing to add verbal, self-reported data to the actions and behaviours you've observed. Overall, user interviews are ideal for learning more about your target users and exploring a specific topic in more detail. Now we know when and why you might conduct user interviews, let's consider the how. When it comes to conducting user interviews, there are four key elements to consider. Setting your goals and objectives, recruiting participants, the location and setup, and the questions you're going to ask. Let's go through each of these in more detail. First and foremost, you'll need to set clear research objectives. What do you hope to learn from the interviews? Speak to a product stakeholder and find out what insights they're keen to uncover. Your goal should be specific enough to keep your interview questions focused. Let's imagine you're designing a language learning app, for example. Some possible interview goals could be to understand the general attitude towards learning a foreign language, to understand the general attitude towards language learning apps, to discover which apps people currently use to learn a language, and to find out what features users desire in language learning apps. Once you have a clear objective in mind, you'll need to recruit some interview participants. To do this, you can either tap into an existing customer base or do some recruiting via social media. Either way, it's important to make sure that the people you interview represent your target audience. So, for your language learning app, you might look for users who are interested in learning a new language and have used a language learning app before. Next, you'll want to consider the logistics of the interview. When choosing a location, it's important to think about how the surrounding environment might influence the user. If they're sitting in your office surrounded by the brand, will they feel compelled to say positive things? Most probably. Try to conduct the interview in a relaxed, neutral setting, be it an unbranded meeting room or a location of the user's choice. You'll also need to think about how you're going to record the interview. As the interviewer, you must be completely engaged and tuned into what the user is saying, so you can't be distracted by taking notes. Have someone with you to take notes or record the session. Just make sure you get the user's permission to do so. Now for the most important part, writing your interview questions. You'll want to have a list of questions ready for the interview, so be prepared to spend some time on this beforehand. The key to a successful user interview is to ask open, non-leading questions. But what does that actually mean? 
A closed question requires a simple yes or no answer, while an open question prompts the user to go into more detail. Instead of asking the user, do you like using apps to learn a new language? You would ask, how do you feel about using an app to learn a new language? The second question invites the user to elaborate, giving you much more insight than a simple yes or no. Now let's consider the difference between leading and non-leading questions. When conducting user interviews, it's important to be aware that the way you ask questions can influence how the participant responds, so choose your words carefully. A leading question implies or hints at a desired answer, prompting the user to think and respond in a certain way. That's exactly what you don't want. Why? Because leading questions result in biased or false answers. They may also prevent you from uncovering new insights that you hadn't anticipated. Let's say you want to find out how the user might go about learning a new language. You could ask them, which apps do you use to learn a new language? However, this assumes that they do use language learning apps and steers them to focus their answer purely on apps. A more open, non-leading question might be, talk me through your approach to learning a new language. Can you see the difference? Preparing your questions in advance will help to make sure that you don't unintentionally lead the user during the interview. Try to prepare more questions than you think you'll have time to ask and have some follow-up phrases ready too. You can prompt the user to elaborate by saying things like, can you tell me more about that? Or can you explain this in more detail? It's also a good idea to prepare an opening statement. Just a few lines to introduce yourself and explain the purpose of the interview. For example, Hi, I'm Jay. I'm conducting research as part of my project to design a language learning app. I'd like to ask you some questions about your experience when it comes to learning a new language. You don't have to answer any questions you're not comfortable with, and there are no right or wrong answers. Do you have any questions before we begin? This is a nice way to ease the users in and to give them an opportunity to ask any questions. This is also a good time to ask their permission to record the interview. Now, let's consider some user interview best practices. The following tips will help you put the user at ease and get maximum value from the session. First up, make the user feel heard. As the facilitator of the interview, you need to engage with the user and really listen to what they're saying. Make frequent eye contact, nod along, and acknowledge their answers. As I said before, don't take notes. You can't concentrate on listening and writing at the same time. Give the user your undivided attention and they'll feel much more comfortable. Secondly, take your time. If the interview feels rushed, you won't get the kind of long, detailed answers that you need. Allow the user plenty of time to think about each question and don't be afraid of short silences. While it's tempting to break the silence by repeating the question, you'll just be putting the user under pressure. If they need clarification, they'll ask, so give them some time to reflect. My third tip is to avoid industry jargon. Don't assume that the person you're interviewing will be familiar with UX terms. For most people, words like user flow and information architecture don't mean anything, so keep your interview questions jargon free. Last but not least, Finish strong. Wrap up the interview by asking the user if they have any questions or if there's anything else they'd like to add. A quick general chat at the end may reveal further insights that didn't come up during the session. So there you have it, user interviews in a nutshell. Remember to set specific goals, ask open, non-leading questions and engage with the user throughout. It can be tricky at first, but the more interviews you do, the more natural it'll become. For more tips and insights, check out the other videos in our UX research series. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.